All right, so what we're gonna talk about here is how to address an envelope, because it amazes me how many high school seniors can't address an envelope. How else are you gonna get that money for those graduation announcements if you can't send the letter? So, when you're addressing an envelope, we got different pieces. We got this up here, which is the return address. So, if the person who's trying to get it doesn't get it, it comes back to the return address. You put your name, you put your street address, you put the town you live in, the state, and the zip code. Now, these zip codes aren't right. I just made them up. But that's how that should be formatted. Now, in the center, we've got the person's name. We've got their street address. We've got their town. And they've got their zip, zip code over there. Up here in this corner is where the stamp goes. All right, you need to have all three of these things or the person will not get your letter, they will not get your bill you're trying to pay, they will not get your whatever. So that is how to do, how to address an envelope. If you have a post, if you have a delivery to your house, it's rural, usually called rural delivery, but if, the, if you get your mail at your house, this is how you do it. A lot of y'all don't have that. A lot of y'all have a P.O. box. So... This is all the same because it's still you, but let's say we're mailing it to Dwayne DeRock Johnson here and his PO, he gets his mail to post office. We have to put a PO box what, there where it is and the town and all that stuff stays the same. PO box is different than your physical home address, your street address, and the stamp stays where it's at. There is a big difference between a PO box and your physical home address. One of the big differences is Guess what? Amazon usually doesn't like delivering to post office boxes, especially if you're ordering big stuff like from Amazon Prime. So you need to know not just your PO address, but you also need to know your physical address. You need to know where you live. And on Joe Smith Road, third house on the left is gray is not an address. So you need to actually know the address of your house. Because the other thing, reason you need to know the address of your house, let's say you give your buddy directions, and he says, well, I don't like your directions. I just want to use Google Maps. What's your address? If you don't know your physical address, he won't be able to get to you. And you're going to rely on your halfway instructions. So don't do that. Learn your address. Learn your home phone number. If you don't have a home phone, your parents only have cell phones, learn your parents' cell phone numbers. Learn your cell phone number. This, all, this information is important. We've become so dependent on these handy little gadgets that when these handy little gadgets break, we're in trouble. So this is all just information you need to know to live your life. Thank you.